Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Latina Nurse Wellness in the building. It's been way too long, but I wanted to bring up a topic. Um, it's been on my heart for the longest, and it's something that I've dealt dealt with, dealt it, dealt with as a young nurse, as a newbie nurse. So a little bit about me. My name is Fallon Lopez. I'm a registered nurse, RMBSN, CCRN. And I'm also a wellness coach. That's why this channel is called Latina Nurse Wellness, to give you a new perspective on what healthy, what being skinny, what being, you know, perfect. We're transforming those um, mindsets, those, those standards that no longer apply to us anymore. And with this channel, I hope to encourage that type of movement, you know, embracing my background, embracing who I am, as a person and just launching us forward into a new a new era of how we take care of ourselves as healthcare heroes as healthcare folks out here so anyways tonight let me talk to you a really 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 quick about something that i've dealt with as a latina as a hispanic person people see you on the floor and instead of grabbing the you know translator that is specifically designed, specifically hooked up with the right people, the translators, they come to you first to come talk to their patient. Have you ever been in this predicament? You're minding your own business, doo -doo 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 -doo, at the pixies, about to pull out my medicine, about to go answer my call lights. I got so much things to do. And then somebody comes to you, hey, real quick, can you, you speak Spanish, right? Like not even a yes, give you room for an answer. Like you speak Spanish, right? Come here, please help me with my patient. I need to tell them something really, really quick. And you're like, well, I am about to go see my patients. They're pretty critical as well, but let me, let me just be a good nurse and go help out my fellow, you know, nurse out. Okay, so what do you need me to say? Cause it needs to be really quick, right? Like. You're asking your other nurse, like, what is it? You know, you're trying to, you know, check in because maybe it's happened to you before. Yeah, girl, it's super easy. It's really, really short. This has happened to me. It's really easy. It's really short. Quickly, just, I need your help. Please, please, please. I've been trying to understand what she's saying and she won't, you know, we just keep going back and forth. I have no clue. And I, you know, I got to see my other patients too. It's like, hmm, I got to see my patients too, but let me be a good nurse. Let me go ahead over there and help out. You get there and it's not just something short. It's like the whole assessment, like you're the nurse. And it's like, dude, why didn't you just grab the translator? Why, why am I here? Am I getting paid for this? No. Are my patients being um, delayed their own care? Yes. Am I getting more behind? Yes. So what good did it make to, you know, help translate for a few minutes? If you've ever been there, if you ever know what I mean, if you've ever been in this situation where it's like, I want to help someone, I want to be a good nurse, and I want to be there for my fellow Hispanic people that may be struggling with their nurse. Stop. Pause. That's that nurse guilt coming in again. Don't do it to yourself, sis. This translator situation, it really goes back to boundaries, having healthy boundaries and not being a people pleaser. And, you know, being um, strong in your boundaries and knowing what you stand for. So when I think about the issue with the translator, I'm just reminded of how important it is to have strong boundaries as a nurse, as a person, individual, when you come into healthcare, because people will try to push you around or push you to do things that you don't want to do or that you don't feel comfortable doing. And that's the nature of people. They don't understand. And of course, you know, they may have their best intentions, but look, sis. I know you have your best intentions, your best foot forward, um, and you see me and you see it as an opportunity to come help, but honestly, you're doing the patient a better benefit by getting that translator, by calling that number, by taking a few minutes to show your patient that you really care and going the extra mile to get a translator. And yes, it may put you behind, but imagine if that was your family member in the hospital. And you just went and grabbed some old willy dilly nurse on the floor. She has no clue. Maybe her Spanish isn't that great. She's not trained in medical Spanish and she comes in and she's rushing. She's trying to get through. So why give your, your family member that type of treatment when you really can, you know, 
show that you care that you take an importance to their health by taking the extra time to go get a translator. That's all I want to say about that, but I do want to take it back to the boundaries part. Like this is something that I struggled with as a new nurse, um, really understanding who I was as a person, what was important to me. And you may feel like it's okay to translate for some people and that's fine. You know, don't feel guilty about it if that's what you do. Um, but as a nurse, we definitely have to have strong boundaries. What is important to us? What do we stand for? Um, you know, and what are going to be our non-negotiables? What are going to, what are things that, you know, um, separate us from others? Because that's what boundaries are. It's that clear definition of who you are as a person and what are your values and what are, what's important to you. And it, I feel like that's the number one thing that a nurse should work on going into healthcare because it is big business come on it's a huge entity and you can get swept up you can get lost in this big industry if you don't know who you are as a person if you don't understand your boundaries and let me tell you right now i'm speaking from experience because i had a boundary problem so really quickly there's two type of boundaries well three if you include healthy boundaries but number one it's going to be porous boundaries. Number two is going to be um, strict boundaries. Um, and these are just two, two forms of boundaries, problems that people tend to develop overall. And I think it's very important to address it before getting into healthcare, before getting into any type of giving, just position career, because you will be tested on your limits. And we're humans. We have limits. We have things that, you know, we cannot do. We cannot always give of ourselves and we have to understand that. And I think it's okay to understand that. So going back to the boundaries, porous and strict boundaries, closed boundaries, sorry. So porous meaning like there's holes, it's lots of, um, um, you don't, you're, you're a very, you don't know how to say no. You're a very yes person. You worry about others' opinions. Um, you want to be validated um, and you want to be accepted and you don't want to rock the boat. Those are porous boundaries. You're just like, what boundaries? I don't got any boundaries. That was me. That was my problem. So I'm speaking from experience. So that's definitely a learning curve. So if that sounds like something that you deal with, it's okay. I think the first step is just acknowledging, hey, this is my issue, but not beating yourself up. Don't beat yourself up if that's a problem, if that's what's something you're dealing with. Number two, the closed boundaries, the strict boundaries, the rigid boundaries even. Sorry, I couldn't think it's bound, porous and rigid um, closed boundaries. You don't let anyone in. You're always saying no. And so that's something that you may have to work on. If you tend to be like a yes person, you have porous boundaries and you notice, you sometimes it's easy for you to go all the way to the right. So it's finding that balance in between your boundaries. Like, where do you lie? What is important to you um, and why? And finding that safe space. Maybe one day you're you're leaning more on the yes side, but it's okay. Let me come back to the middle. Maybe I'm a little bit more on the no, you know, the closed boundaries. And that's okay. Let me make my way over here. And, you know, it's a day-by-day -day thing, especially if you've had issues with boundaries before. Like, you may be on the closed boundaries you know you have a problem letting people in um feeling safe in um you know community and you you may withdraw from others a lot you know so these are you know things that people you know we should identify as we're getting into healthcare, and this way we can prevent things from happening like burnout people leaving the profession and you know really losing your light losing your passion for healthcare and for nursing. And so I just wanted to share tonight with y'all that little, you know, a little story time when it comes to translating and figuring out if this is right for you, do I wanna do that? You know, always go back to the policies and procedures of your facility, number one. And then also what's important to you? Where do your values lie? What, you know, what is, um, what is gonna make you go home at night, you know, and sleep well, you know, and not have to stress. So definitely, definitely, um, I just wanted to share this story. If this is something that you deal with or have dealt with in the past, let me know in the comments below. Um, definitely feel free to connect with me. I'm on Facebook. You can also check out uh, my Instagram. 
Fallon underscore wellness coach. And on Facebook, Fallon Lopez. I'm also, I also have my new website up, areyouwell.com. So you can find out more about what I do. I do have one-on-one -on -one sessions where I help my clients work through things like, you know, closed boundaries and porous boundaries and really finding that sweet spot in between. It's a day-by-day -day thing, y'all. And I just wanted to share that with you all tonight. I hope you have a great rest of your evening. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.